everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I know I just did the video, just came out for the weekly update, but I just was on Twitter after that and realized that there have been some updates made, so I wanted to get this video out to you as soon as I could. They have postponed the 5v5 PvP mode. Uh, let's go ahead and just read this message. Looking ahead to Season 3 and the launch of Private Test Server, we want to bring you an important update regarding PvP mode showcased during the Ubisoft Forward. Um, I guess they've kind of already showcased it. I've, I, th I think I might know the video they're talking about, but if there's more to it, I'm going to have to look into it. Um, we have been thoroughly testing the PvP game mode internally, and with our insiders, we've received great feedback and have identified more opportunities to improve further. Further. Because the quality of the experience is paramount to us, we've made the decision to postpone the release of the 5v5 PvP mode. Our aim is to take the time to ensure we've addressed the most critical feedback before it's in players' hands. Therefore, it will not be available with the launch of Season 3 or in the PTS. More information about the PvP mode and season three will be shared in our letter from the producer in the upcoming days. Thank you for your feedback and continued support, Skull and Bones. So I think this is a good and bad thing. I mean, we need this to hurry up and be here because I really think this is going to be what makes the game. I think PvP is very good in the game. I think it just needs a team based mode that has some kind of actual benefit um to everyone because currently the pvp game modes that we have are only beneficial to one person uh we're getting a pts there's gonna be a pts for season three i'm not sure when it's gonna be it's invite only hey if anybody from Ubisoft by some miracle watches this what's up let me get an invite my pc is terrible but it, maybe it could handle it um yes i have a pirated version of windows sue me <laughs> it's not pirated you just you, if you know you know okay welcome to pts uh greetings we're not gonna read all of this man so basically there's a start times for it uh pts highlights you'll be able to test the aspects the shadow beast there's gonna be a dragon we knew about the dragon what's the moon cake regatta take part in assassination uh disguising itself as a race moon cake okay so another race Okay, so just a couple of new convoys, merchant convoys, Flames of the Dragon, Li Ti and Ning. That's going to be the new boss battle, the new, uh, so you got La Pest, Ubek Twins, and now we got Li Tian Ning, Flames of the Dragon, uh, new ship battle junk. This will be interesting. The resilient juggernaut excels. Ah, sweet. So we're going to get another tank. Awesome. Uh, perk, provoke weapons hit within 200 meters, apply taunt charges applying taunt makes target vulnerable for 50 percent increasing weak point damage from all sources nice increase brace strength by 150 percent and brace strength recovery by 25 percent nice so yes another tank better navigation stats additional furniture and endure each time incoming damage is braced the tank takes two percent less damage the tank from any subsequent attack. This effect can stack up to 20%. Is that like a weak point or does that mean the whole ship? Okay, that's confusing wording. So each time incoming damage is braced, the tank takes 2% less damage from any subsequent attack. This effect can stack up to 20% and expires if no damage has been braced in the last 12 seconds. Inflict taunt charges to hostile targets within 125 meters while bracing hits. All right, so we got Phoenix Talons. It's a new Demi Cannon Quadrants because it's not an auxiliary, obviously. 18 strikes, 18 hits in a single volley instantly deals 1,888 burning damage. This effect deals 200% as much damage on a target. More weird wording, as much damage on a... So 200% more damage if they're ablaze? Confusing. Provoke taunted status effect. Hits on target cause buildup of the taunted status effect. So there's just going to be a whole new, you got vulnerability and now there's going to be taunted, uh, 20% damage as burning damage. Okay. And then we got heaven's mandate, devastating, powerful cannon has spectacular lightning powers. Okay. So lightning damage, defeat shadow beast for a chance to obtain it, which is, I'm assuming the dragon. Okay. So heaven's wrath 
if a target is afflicted with the electrified status effect hits have a 15 percent chance to summon a devastating lightning strike that deals 1500 electric damage that sounds interesting that's a low chance but hmm adds 20 percent of the damage as electrical damage okay so electrical now also interesting man that's gonna be fun when there's all these different like status effects in the game uh faq who can access its invite only is everything going to make it to the live game no we may use the pts to just test things basically blah 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 do you i have to download the game again to access the PTS? you will need to download the pts where do i download the build of the pts you can download the pts directly at the launcher uh do i need to start new progression for existing players, your progression will seamlessly transfer. Okay, so a default amount of silver and gold will be granted instead of pieces of eight will be capped at 300k. Hmm, interesting. For new players, you will be given a boost ensuring you hit the ground running. So, huh, that would be weird. Will my progression in the PTS be carried over? Please note that any progress made in the private test server, including Gold Smuggler's Pass, will not transfer to the main game. Can I invite friends? You cannot invite friends. Feedback and bugs. You can share your feedbacks here, here, here. Bugs. Report bugs. Is there any NDA? No. PTS phases? No. Not protected by an NDA. So that's cool. PTS stuff, if you get approved, you can share it. I probably won't, but I'm going to try. I don't know. Let's see. It does, does it say how to do it? Okay, so preloaded on the 14th, August 10th. Looking forward to the participation. Sneak peek of all this stuff. Please know. Um, man, I guess. I don't know who's going to get invites to it. Check your emails. I'll check mine. I don't know where they're contacting people to, for that, but... If any information comes to light, I will let you guys know. If you know anything about where they're contacting people, if it's through email or if it's on Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it, uh, leave that in the comment section below. Uh, but it looks like that's basically going to do it for this season. As a summary, we're getting two new weapons that we can see. I'm sure there's going to be some furnitures as well. The Dragon Event. Lee. What's her name? Two new Merchant Convoys. Ooh, a new tank, that's right. New tank ship called Battle Junk. And then Lee Tian Ning, the new boss. Did I mention the dragon? And a PTS. Hopefully we get more news on how to receive an invite here, because it's an uh, invite only. But that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.